Borium is a synthetic chemical element with symbol BH and atomic number 107. It is named after Danish physicist Niels Bohr. As a synthetic element, it can be created in a laboratory but is not found in nature. It is radioactive, its most stable known isotope, 270 BH, has a half-life of approximately 61 seconds, though the unconfirmed 278 BH may have a longer half-life of about 690 seconds. In the periodic table of the elements, it is a D-block transactinide element. It is a member of the seventh period and belongs to the group seven elements as the fifth member of the 6D series of transition metals. Chemistry experiments have confirmed that borium behaves as the heavier homologue to rhenium in group 7. The chemical properties of borium are characterized only partly, but they compare well with the chemistry of the other group 7 elements. History Discovery. <history> Two groups claimed discovery of the element. Evidence of borium was first reported in 1976 by a Soviet research team led by Yuri Oganessian, in which targets of bismuth-209 and lead-208 were bombarded with accelerated nuclei of chromium-54 and manganese-55 respectively. Two activities, one with a half-life of 1 to 2 milliseconds, and the other with an approximately 5-second half-life, were seen. Since the ratio of the intensities of these two activities was constant throughout the experiment, it was proposed that the first was from the isotope borium-261 and that the second was from its daughter dubnium-257. Later, the dubnium isotope was corrected to dubnium-258, which indeed has a five-second half-life dubnium-257 has a one-second half-life, however, the half-life observed for its parent is much shorter than the half-lives later observed in the definitive discovery of borium at Darmstadt in 1981. The IUPAC, IUPAP Transfermium Working Group TWG, concluded that while dubnium-258 was probably seen in this experiment, the evidence for the production of its parent borium-262 was not convincing enough. In 1981, a German research team led by Peter Armbruster and Gottfried Munzenberg at the GSI Helmholtz Center for Heavy Ion Research GSI Helmholtzentrum für Schwerenentferschung in Darmstadt bombarded a target of bismuth-209 with accelerated nuclei of chromium-54 to produce five atoms of the isotope borium-262 20,983 by plus 5,424 CR 262,107 BH plus NTHI's discovery was further substantiated by their detailed measurements of the alpha decay chain of the produced borium atoms to previously known isotopes of fermium and californium. The IUPAC, IUPAP Transfermium Working Group TWG, recognized the GSI collaboration as official discoverers in their 1992 report. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Proposed names. In September 1992, the German group suggested the name Niels Borium with symbol Ns to honor the Danish physicist Niels Bohr. The Soviet scientists at the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research in Dubna, Russia had suggested this name be given to element 105 which was finally called Dubnium and the German team wished to recognize both Bohr and the fact that the Dubna team had been the first to propose the cold fusion reaction to solve the controversial problem of the naming of element 105. The Dubna team agreed with the German group's naming proposal for element 107. There was an element naming controversy as to what the elements from 104 to 106 were to be called. The IUPAC adopted unnilsepsium symbol UNs as a temporary, systematic element name for this element. In 1994 a committee of IUPAC recommended that element 107 be named Borium, not Niels Borium, since there was no precedence for using a scientist's complete name in the naming of an element. This was opposed by the discoverers as there was some concern that the name might be confused with boron and in particular the distinguishing of the names of their respective oxyanions, borate and borate. The matter was handed to the Danish branch of IUPAC which, despite this, voted in favour of the name borium, and thus the name borium for element 107 was recognised internationally in 1997. The names of the respective oxyanions of boron and borium remain unchanged despite their homophony. Topic. 
Isotopes Borium has no stable or naturally occurring isotopes. Several radioactive isotopes have been synthesized in the laboratory, either by fusing two atoms or by observing the decay of heavier elements. Twelve different isotopes of borium have been reported with atomic masses 260 to 262, 264 to 267, 270 to 272, 274, and 278, one of which, borium 262, has a known metastable state. All of these but the unconfirmed 278 BH decay only through alpha decay. Although some unknown borium isotopes are predicted to undergo spontaneous fission, the lighter isotopes usually have shorter half lives half lives of under 100 milliseconds for 260 BH, 261 BH, 262 BH, and 262 MBH were observed, 264 BH, 265 BH, 266 BH, and 271. 1BH are more stable at around 1S, and 267BH and 272BH have half-lives of about 10S. The heaviest isotopes are the most stable, with 270BH and 274BH having measured half-lives of about 61S and 40S respectively, and the even heavier unconfirmed isotope 278BH appearing to have an even longer half-life of about 690S. The unknown isotopes 273BH and 275BH are predicted to have even longer half-lives of around 90 minutes and 40 minutes respectively. Before its discovery, 274BH was also predicted to have a half-life of 90 minutes, but it was found to have a half-life of only about 40 seconds. The proton-rich isotopes with masses 260, 261, and 262 were directly produced by cold fusion. Those with mass 262 and 264 were reported in the decay chains of meitnerium and rentgenium, while the neutron-rich isotopes with masses 265, 266, 267 were were created in irradiations of actinide targets. The five most neutron-rich ones with masses 270, 271, 272, 274, and 278 unconfirmed appear in the decay chains of 282 NH, 287 mic, 288 mic, 294 teraseconds, and 290 Florida respectively. These 11 isotopes have half-lives ranging from about 10 milliseconds for 262 MBH to about 1 minute for 270 BH and 274 BH, extending to about 12 minutes for the unconfirmed 278 BH, one of the longest-lived known superheavy nuclides. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Predicted properties. Chemical Borium is the fifth member of the 6D series of transition metals and the heaviest member of group 7 in the periodic table, below manganese, technetium and rhenium. All the members of the group readily portray their group oxidation state of plus 7 and the state becomes more stable as the group is descended. Thus borium is expected to form a stable plus 7 state. Technetium also shows a stable plus 4 state whilst rhenium exhibits stable plus 4 and plus 3 states. Borium may therefore show these lower states as well. The higher plus 7 oxidation state is more likely to exist in oxyanions, such as perborate, BHO-4, analogous to the lighter permanganate, pertechnetate, and perinate. Nevertheless, borium is likely to be unstable in aqueous solution, and would probably be easily reduced to the more stable borium IV. .Technetium and rhenium are known to form volatile heptoxides M2O7 M equals Tc, Re, so borium should also form the volatile oxide BH2O7. The oxide should dissolve in water to form perboric acid, HBHO4. Rhenium and technetium form a range of oxyhalides from the halogenation of the oxide. The chlorination of the oxide forms the oxychlorides MO3Cl, so BHO3Cl should be formed in this reaction. Fluorination results in MO3F and MO2F3 for the heavier elements in addition to the rhenium compounds REOF5 and REF7. Therefore, oxyfluoride formation for borium may help to indicate acarenium properties. 
Since the oxychlorides are asymmetrical, and they should have increasingly large dipole moments going down the group, they should become less volatile in the order TCO3 Cl greater than RayO3 Cl greater than BHO3 Cl. This was experimentally confirmed in 2000 by measuring the enthalpies of adsorption of these three compounds. The values are for TCO3 Cl and RayO3 Cl are minus 51 kJ per mole and minus 61 kJ per mole respectively. The experimental value for BHO3 Cl is minus 77.8 kJ per mole, very close to the theoretically expected value of minus 78.5 kJ per mole. Topic: Physical and atomic. Borium is expected to be a solid under normal conditions and assume a hexagonal close-packed crystal structure C, A. Equals 1 .62, similar to its lighter congener rhenium. It should be a very heavy metal with a density of around 37.1 g per cc, which would be the third highest of any of the 118 known elements, lower than only mitnerium .4 g per cc and hassium the two following elements in the periodic table. In comparison, the densest known element that has had its density measured, osmium, has a density of only 22.61 g per cc. This results from borium's high atomic weight, the lanthanide and actinide contractions, and relativistic effects, although production of enough borium to measure this quantity would be impractical, and the sample would quickly decay, the atomic radius of borium is expected to be around 128 pm. Due to the relativistic stabilization of the 7's orbital and destabilization of the 6d orbital, the BH plus ion is predicted to have an electron configuration of Rn 5f14 6d 47s2, giving up a 6d electron instead of a 7's electron, which is the opposite of the behavior of its lighter homologues manganese and technetium. Rhenium, on the other hand, follows its heavier congener borium in giving up a 5d electron before a 6s electron, as relativistic effects have become significant by the sixth period, where they cause among other things the yellow color of gold and the low melting point of mercury. The BH2 plus ion is expected to have an electron configuration of Rn 5F14 6D37 S2. In contrast, the Re2 plus ion is expected to have a Z4 F14 5D5 configuration, this time analogous to manganese and technetium. The ionic radius of hexacoordinate heptavalent borium is expected to be 58 pm heptavalent manganese, technetium, and rhenium having values of 46, 57, and 53 pm respectively. Pentavalent borium should have a larger ionic radius of 83 pm. Experimental chemistry In 1995, the first report on attempted isolation of the element was unsuccessful, prompting new theoretical studies to investigate how best to investigate borium using its lighter homologues technetium and rhenium for comparison and removing unwanted contaminating elements such as the trivalent actinides, the group 5 elements, and polonium. In 2000, it was confirmed that although relativistic effects are important, borium behaves like a typical group 7 element. A team at the Paul Scherer Institute conducted a chemistry reaction using six atoms of 267 BH produced in the reaction between 249 BK and 22 Ne ions. The resulting atoms were thermalized and reacted with a HCl-O2 mixture to form a volatile oxychloride. The reaction also produced isotopes of its lighter homologues, technetium as 108 Tc and rhenium as 169 Re. The isothermal adsorption curves were measured and gave strong evidence for the formation of a volatile oxychloride with properties similar to that of rhenium oxychloride. This placed borium as a typical member of group 7. The adsorption enthalpies of the oxychlorides of technetium, rhenium, and borium were measured in this experiment, agreeing very well with the theoretical predictions and implying a sequence of decreasing oxychloride volatility down group 7 of TCO3 Cl greater than RayO3 Cl greater than BHO3 Cl. 2BH plus 3O2 plus 2HCl 2BHO3 Cl plus H2 The longer-lived heavy isotopes of borium, produced as the daughters of heavier elements, offer advantages for future radiochemical experiments. 
Although the heavy isotope 274 BH requires a rare and highly radioactive berkelium target for its product, the isotopes 272 BH, 271 BH, and 270 BH can be readily produced as daughters of more easily produced moscovium and nihonium isotopes. <laughs> 